guys, we're Slow and Steady RV family. I'm Kelly. I'm Brandon. We just wanted to make a little video about what we are doing to get ready for our full-time RV adventures. So we thought we'd show you some of the gear that we bought so far and Kelly was going to talk about downsizing. We've been pretty busy um, just going through our house and seeing what we need, what we don't. Pretty much have been going through each room and um, just looking what we have and saying, okay, are we going to take it with us? Are we going to store it? Or are we going to sell it? And uh, most of the things we've ended up on the sell list. We're storing a few things like some uh, big pieces of furniture that we have. Um, what else? I'm, I'm game for selling everything. But so far we went through Austin's room and we've got rid of everything except for his mattress. But he's still got a lot of stuff to throw away. We've told the kids they could take what, one container. Yeah, for right now we're, we're going through and each kid can put their clothes in a tub and the rest of their stuff in a tub. And so pretty much their whole two room containers in. has to have, yeah, two tubs that they can put their stuff in. So the stuff that we're getting rid of, I've been selling a lot of it on Facebook and the marketplace on Facebook and also on OfferUp. Um, kind of like using offer up a little bit more. Facebook has got me in trouble with not taking the people that have messaged first um, and going out of order. So honestly, it's just kind of annoying. So we, we really haven't went out of order. It's just somebody, you posted on another place and that other yeah. person said, hey, I'll take it. So you you can... post on two pages and, and if someone's on another page and anyway, it's very annoying. Just trying to defend you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> So, yeah, we're getting rid of a lot of our stuff, um, yeah, through Facebook, through OfferUp, and we've been pretty successful. I mean, we've been pricing things pretty well, but... Yeah, and when she says we're getting rid of it, she's been getting rid of all the stuff. A lot. No one can have anything anymore. It's actually been pretty um, freeing just to look around at what we have and say, you know, do we really need this? Yeah, there's tons of stuff. That we just have that we didn't really need. I have two bike trainers, for example, that I think I've used maybe once or twice my whole entire biking career, which is not very long. <laughs> yeah, we've had um, a pack and play for 14 years since Connor was a baby, and uh, I keep it in case we have babies come to visit, but we don't really have babies come to visit. Yeah, what else have we sold? So far, we're still trying to sell our snowblower because we're not going to use it anymore. <laughs> ever again. Oh, we have um, sold all kinds of garden tools, lawn mowers, uh, our Roomba vacuum. Yeah. Kids clothes, they have so many clothes. All of the bedroom furniture. Yeah, Austin's bedroom furniture, that was mm. kind of good. Austin was, his furniture wasn't our expensive furniture, so our expensive furniture we're actually going to store because obviously to replace it it's going to take more money than what we would have to store it for a year or two. The idea is we're going to store it for a year and then reevaluate re and see if we want to get rid of more stuff or just keep it there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's been going pretty well and I think we're, I don't know, I feel like we're round in the corner of selling stuff, but every time I feel like that and go into another room and start taking pictures of stuff and just throw it on Facebook, it's been pretty easy to do, not very time consuming, but just irritating. People flake out when they say they want to buy stuff. Basically everything that we've bought so far that we needed for the camper, like the extra items that don't come to the camper that are required, Kelly's been able to pay for out of the items that we've sold. Yeah. So one thing I like, like we have three big T flat screen TVs. Um, we'd like to at least get rid of two of those. Does anyone want to buy one? Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, yeah, so we're going to try to keep our couch. Our bedroom set, Connor's bedroom set. We're about 50 50 percent sure we're going to keep that, but the girls' bedroom set we're going to keep. All that stuff is pretty new and in good condition, so. Yeah, we still need to sell our kitchen table. Yeah. Um, my treadmill downstairs. Yeah. That's basically it. We're, we're, we didn't have a ton, ton of stuff, but it, it's interesting all the stuff that we have that we don't ever use that we were getting rid of. So yeah. Yeah, we're also about ready to get a storage unit so we can start hopefully putting things today, in the right? storage. Yeah, hopefully today. And uh, we're going to 
make our poor kids sleep on mattresses on the floor so we can start moving stuff to the storage and just kind of get the house cleared out a little bit easier. We're down to three weeks until we move into the camper, so we've got work to do. Yeah, I think we've bought everything that we have to have, and we actually found out today we didn't know if our gas tanks were full, our propane tanks, so we're actually setting the camper and the heat's on, so apparently they are. But when we were at uh, oh, Camping, yeah, World. Camping World, buying our stuff. Yeah, the stuff that we bought so far, he was telling us that on the propane tanks there's an automatic switch valve and it actually shows that it's a green if the uh, if it has uh, propane in the tanks, but apparently we don't have that. He's, he said, oh, I'm 99% sure that you, every camper has it, but... Yeah, a changeover but, regulator. Yeah. Yeah, so... Or even the indication that it has propane in it. Right. We, we can really tell. Um, and the stickers that are on, are still on it that say they're brand new tanks and they need to be purged. So I thought we didn't have any in there, but obviously we checked our appliances when we went through our walkthrough. And then we did, we know we had heat, so that's, we were kind of confused. But anyways, we're in it and it's got heat and electricity. We didn't come out to it and the battery was dead, so we weren't, we're not sure how we're that. Blaming that on the toddler. Yeah, we're not sure how it drained, but anyway, Kelly backed up her car and plugged it in so we could charge the battery and, and have light and heat. Yeah. So we'll talk about some of the items that we've purchased so far. Um, pretty much 99% of them I think were necessary. So we're gonna just open them and try to get our trash out of here at this point. Um, so yeah, Kelly's gonna stay, have to... Stay tuned for the exciting stuff because I have some fun stuff to show you at the end that we got. Brandon's gonna talk to you about all of the nitty gritty things that we absolutely had to have. And I'll show you some of the fun things that we absolutely had to have. More or less had to have. But... Definitely had to have. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wanna show? Uh, how about the tubes? Sorry, I'm not moving around because I am on one foot, so. Brandon had to have surgery, one thing to prepare for uh, getting into the camper, so we're healing. Yeah, surgery for surgery, because the first one didn't go so well, so. Um, so we, when we were at uh, Camping World, did you say Outdoor World earlier? No, Outdoor World is from uh, the, the... I know. Okay. I thought maybe you said it. Though. No, Camping World. So she has to correct to me because it keeps saying Outdoor World instead of Camping World. So when we were at Camping World, one of the um, salesmen walked us through things that we thought we may need or may not need. And we tried not to buy anything that we didn't think we really needed at this point. But these are kind of a couple of things that I thought we didn't really need at this point, but I was hoping, or hoping that we don't ever use them, but I'm sure we will. So we bought... Um, That's for the roof. Uh, yeah basically still in for the roof. So this is uh, gravity, it sinks down into the roof. So you can put it on the roof and the, and the same sealant we bought. That's not gravity, so you can put it in other places. So we just thought we're gonna need those, I'm assuming, but we thought we'd go ahead and just buy them now. Yeah, said so we shouldn't go anywhere without having them in case we get a leak yeah. of some kind. Um, so both, <laughs> we're next to a train station, both uh, salesmen at uh, Outdoor Camping okay. World and what's the other place? RCD RV is where we bought our Camp, RV. Yeah, we brought our camper. They told us we need, we didn't need, need this stuff. So it's a uh, dry lube, so it's essentially instead of having WD-40 where everything would stick to, the dirt would stick to it um, for a slide essentially. Um, so we'd use the dry lube for, for our slide components, gears, um, railing, and we actually have cables on our slide, so it's kind of nice. And then, uh, I don't know what this is for, slide that's out that, rubber seal. Yeah, that's the seal for the rubber on the slide out. Oh yeah, to keep it from cracking and, uh, for the rubber seal on the slide out. So we're hoping to be good at using this kind of stuff, but we'll wait and see. Um, if we're not, it's going to wear out really quick. But you assume things are going to wear out real quick in the camper. Yeah. You want to start with the Sure. I can reach it. Um, so originally, this is our sewer hose. Actually, this is only the, the extension. I mean, extension. So, um, you want to hand me the other one? Yep. 
Can open up. This is gonna be trash. I'm gonna break down the boxes off, so that'd be great. So yeah, we got an extra extension here. But we essentially bought this kit, um, the Rhino Extender. Um, extreme Rhino Extreme. So we went with this one instead of what was the other one we were gonna buy? The Viper. It's red yeah. and gray. So the Viper was a 20 foot hose, and this one's a 20 foot hose, but it's got a connection on it. Well, I thought that was good because if you don't need the other 10 foot, then you don't have to use it. But I thought that's also a place for it to leak. So, uh, but we ended up doing this one because it actually had, it has a clear fitting uh, that came with it, which the other one did too, but it actually has caps for the end, which I don't believe the other hose had. So I thought that was something that would uh, be beneficial. Austin, I don't want you breaking these down right now, okay? Uh, thanks for the help, though. So, I guess we can... And then, we we have actually two outflow valves. We have one for the black tank, and then one for one of our gray tanks, but we actually have a second gray tank, which is about eight feet um, apart. So we, we bought another hose um, to go from this gray, and then we bought the connector, so we can connect... Uh, connect this to our our, our um, gray and black and then connect this to our other the other gray the other gray so which, uh, yeah, this is going there. so we're gonna see how that, that all works together um, and kind of go from there but that's our first uh, goal with the black tank and see how it works we also got the slunky yeah, the slunky. We'll see how that works out. So this basically just keeps your hose off the ground. Uh, so, do you want to do more for like leveling and parking and stuff? Or? Uh, let's talk about power cords. Okay. So, I guess uh, the other ones are actually in the storage in the trailer. So we we first bought the 110. 110 so we could plug into our house because we were pulling up the, when we got the camper the dog bone yeah the dog bone 110 so we bought that so we could uh hook up to our house but we ended up not hooking up to our house because we decided just to move the camper to the uh, storage um, but we did end up buying another extension so this is 25 foot so we're told that a lot, not all the places everything will reach that's why we ended up with the, the uh, uh, super hoses too. We ended up with a total of, what, uh, 30, 30 feet. Um, so we'll kind of use those. We have three hoses of 10 foot, 10 foot, use those as needed. So we got the extension, and then this is our, we're a 30 amp, our camper's 30 amps. Um, since we only have one air conditioner, I guess if you have two air conditioners, 50 amps. But we bought the 30 to 50, so if we get into a campsite that's actually 50 amps, we can hook up. Um, and then we do have a surge protector. It's actually in the storage. We're not going to get it out in, in the camper below us. So that's, a, I guess, a must-have item to you. Yeah, we can link to the stuff that we got on Amazon. A lot of the stuff that we got, uh, we purchased on Amazon. So, you know, Amazon Prime. So if you see anything else we need with our black hose, or our sewer hose, or with power that you can think of, uh, let us know. We think we have everything at this point. Yeah. Um, so for water, um, so we pretty much got all brass fittings. I got a, a splitter for uh, to hook up right to the spigot. The spigot. Is that a Pennsylvania word? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. The spigot? The faucet? So, Kelly's from Pennsylvania. I'm originally from Oklahoma. Of course, I haven't lived there in 20 years, so... Um, so, anyways, we got a brass fitting, so we'll do our water on one, and then if we need an extra water hose, we have that outside. Um, and then, we got the uh, rotter hose. Was it regulator? Yeah. yeah. So, this basically, if we go to a campground that has too much pressure, um, it'll eliminate to between 50, 40 and 50. So we've seen ones that you can actually adjust the pressure, but to me that didn't really make any sense because why are we gonna adjust the pressure? We don't wanna go over 40 or 50 anyhow. 
So we're either going to get that or we're not. So I, I didn't see any reason that we would get that to adjust the yeah. pressure. I think there was a price difference of like 30 bucks, wasn't it? Yeah. One that you can adjust and then one that automatically sets you at the pressure that you want it to be at. Yeah. So that's why we ended up going with that one instead of the more expensive one. Um, on the outs, or, and then we, we got the uh, zero G. We got what, two 25 foot hoses? Yeah, we had two 25 foot hoses. So we bought two of those just for storage uh, reasons. Um, they don't take up a lot of space. And then if, if we needed the extra hose, we have it. We have a, a hose at our house we were going to use for our black tank flush. Yeah. So we didn't feel like we didn't buying, buy an extra hose yeah, buying another hose for that. But these are just for the water. Um, and then we ended up buying the uh, uh, water filters. We ended up only buying one. They were cheaper to buy two. but. You know, we were having like, a storage issue right now, so... Well, a storage issue, and we don't know if we'd like it or not. Like, if we want to go with a more expensive... Uh, I'm not that big to you with the water, but... I mean, I... I some, some people are, so... Yeah, I like backpacking, and as long as I have a, my water filter um, there, that, I'm good with that water, so... Um, so we're going to try this uh, water first. So we're going to hook this up to basically where the, the spigot is, so it doesn't put weight. Um, on our camper um, inlet, and we did buy to hook up our uh, for our camper to hook up a hose, the hose to the camper, so it didn't um, bend down or bend down. weight down on that valve. Yeah, so it put more strain on the, the camper itself. So we bought a L-shaped um, coupler there for the to hook up the water hose to that. Austin's here helping us today. Thank you, Austin. He's so cute. Um, we did get for our leveling pads. Um, we did get the the block style um, leveling. Like Legos. Yeah. We got two sets of them. I don't know if we'll need any two sets, but I thought not only we could put stuff under our leveling, um, our under our tires, but we got also use them for the. Uh, the stabilizers? The stabilizers. Yeah, we put them under the jack too. So I was going to put one under the jack and one under each stabilizer and then whatever we need for the tire. So I just ended up buying two sets. They don't seem to take up too much space. So not that we're going to have a, a lot. Um, we also bought the socket for my uh, drill uh, for the stabilizer jack so we can get those down a little bit quicker. Uh, we'll see how that works out. I just bought the cheaper one. I didn't really see why, why we'd uh, buy a more expensive one. I don't see it really breaking, but if it does, it would replace it with Amazon or, or go to uh, Camping World, whoever else is out there. Um, I did get two of the RV stick-on levelers. I thought I'd put one in the front and one on the side so I could see a little bit easier without going into the camper and leveling each time. I, am gonna, I do have a block level um, in my toolbox that I'm gonna bring, but I also got the, an app on my phone and I was going to put it in the refrigerator. We were told that putting it in the refrigerator is the best place to, to level. Um, so we'll see if that works or not. But put it in the refrigerator, level the refrigerator, and then stick these things on and see how it works out. Um, so that'll be a new experience. See, leveling the camper. This is our first camper, so it's all going to be interesting. It's a learning experience for us. Yeah. So, we don't like rodents. I don't like rodents when I'm when I'm out hiking either. Sometimes they get to you when you're on the Appalachian Trail. Um, I actually have never had a, any problems because I don't put anything in my pockets and I don't put food in my pockets or anything else. But if we do have problems, yeah. So we bought a couple of these electric ones and we're going to try to plug them in throughout the camper and see how they work. So this one is supposed to be for rats and bugs and ants, mosquitoes and spiders. So I think it's came with four. Yeah, it's a pack of four, relatively cheap. I, I got this on Amazon. Uh, we'll see how well it works. And I actually bought a more powerful one too, and this is supposed to, so the review is that, that it, it is, it's supposed to keep out like bigger uh, rodents. Um, but the review of it is it's not supposed to affect dogs or cats. But when I read the reviews, it says it does, like the dogs and cats left. Well, we're not, we don't have any dogs or cats. And uh, 
we don't want any other animals around our camper. Not that we don't like dogs or cats, but we don't really want the other animals around our camper. So I thought, well, raccoons or you know any kind of critters. Yeah. So apparently it works a little too well. So that's why I bought it because uh, it does uh, keep out some other stuff. So. That's all your stuff, so. Oh, well, we got toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna use toilet paper in the camper. Um, no, we were, we were, I don't know, I've heard some kind of different reviews about you can get, you know, cheap toilet paper and that it will not create a problem in the tank, but we've also been told that, you know, that it causes a problem with sensors and backing, blocking uh, poses and stuff, so. We're just gonna play it safe, at least for when we start. And we have uh, some Aquasoft specifically for RV and marine uh, sanitation systems. So yeah, we uh, we're hoping our goal is right now. We, at least in theory, we want to try to go to state parks. Our camper is 33 feet six inches, but it's actually a 20 29.3 foot camper. Um, that's what it says on the side, it's like the number. So we're hoping that under 30 feet is why we want to stay under the, that so we can go to some of the state and national parks or go to more, we should say. Um, so we do it toilet paper. Well, my point was that we're hoping that we stay at a park that has bathrooms and when they go, they, they so we'll have an extra bathroom that we can get to. Yeah, so maybe uh, use the rule to go to the camp bathrooms if they have to do the do. Yeah, especially our older two boys. They do they, a lot of do. <laughs> they eat a lot. <laughs> um, so what did you get this uh, drawing? We got this at Camping World too. We had a really good salesman. Some yeah. stuff we say no to, but um, he convinced us to get this flower drain wig apparatus. I don't know. The flower sits on your drain and there's a little uh, chain that goes down the drain to stop your hair from getting into the system yeah i'll have to check it out i'll have to I, see if it works i don't I'm know the, i'm the one that cleans the drain so yeah but it says you can do it get it out without touching the hair so you know how gross hair is yeah it might be a difference to me but i can't imagine maybe you can get it out but you still gotta throw it away so you're probably gonna end up touching the hair one True. way or another but yeah we'll see if that works the other option was to get screens in every place yeah but, uh, uh, we'll see how this works i don't know so uh, they, this wasn't a necessary, we just thought no. we'd try it. Yeah. See how it works. We'll see. And um, we got some bed sheets uh, for, you know, bunk size sheets. We also got a, our bed is a short queen. So we got one set of short queen and then uh, four sheets for the bunks. We have four bunks, four bed sheets. Oh no, we just got three sets of bunk sheets. Okay, so we have four bunks, four kids. Um, two of the, Three of the bunks are will have these bunk sheets on them, and uh, we're gonna take some single, some twin sheets for just backup. But I mean, we're gonna be living in this, so we kind of we wanted it to be comfortable and easy, you know, a good fit. So we did go ahead and get bunk sheets. These were on sale, I don't know, maybe last year's sheets, but they were only twelve bucks, so it didn't make us feel too bad, you know, buying three sets of uh, twin bunk sheets. But our fourth bunk is actually a little mini dinette. Is that what you would call it? Yeah. It's like a, you know, a two-seater dinette that folds down into a smaller bed. And we're going to put our four-year-old there. Um, but in, but we also want to use the dinette. We're going to be homeschooling and so we could use that extra de desk space. Yeah. And so we, uh, my mom had a great idea actually to make some of our own sheets for each one of the Pillows. cushions. Pushions. Each one of the cushions for the dinette. And so that when we wanted to use it, we could really easily put the seats up and not have to remake the bed all the time with the sheets. So yeah, we're going to take some of our sheets that we have at home and uh, be crafty and make four separate sheets, fitted sheets really, for each cushion. So we're going to see how that works. When she says we, she, she means her. I mean me and my mom. <laughs> so not him. He's. I'm going to put Brandon on the sewing machine and he's going to be... Sewing machine duty. I can try it. No. So our heater went off a while ago and our lights all are bright again. Uh, that's kind of interesting, but 
this light was flickering. It was driving me nuts. Now it's uh, not anymore. So that's good. Okay, so we have a couple more fun things. That was a good story. A couple more fun things to show you. Um, we had to get ourselves a state sticker to put up on the outside of our RV. We're not going to do it quite yet. Maybe wait till it gets a little bit warmer. I don't want it to fall off because of the the temperature. Um, and we're not really in it yet. So we'll get it. We'll put it up when we get it. We kind of had a rule that we're not going to put up a sticker if we just drive through the state. So to put up a sticker in the state, we're going to have to spend the night. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So <laughs> the kids are excited. We looked around a lot and we found some different uh, maps that we liked, but Eating there goes our heater again. Done. So, um, yeah, I picked this out. I like this one the best. So we're going to put that one up. It's not as big as the, some of the other ones, but, but I liked it. Yeah, this is interesting. When, when I was flying for the last company that I flew for, a volunteer, in the first six months I hit every state in the U.S. So Continental. Continental U.S. Yeah, I didn't go to Hawaii. I haven't been to Alaska. So it's, it's going to be fun to uh, to see all those states. Yeah, fill it up with your family. Fill them up with my family instead of just me. So. Yeah. So I also had to get a hat. I mean, camping hair don't care. So that's going to be my hat maybe for uh, moving days, bad hair days, whatever. And maybe I'll get one for Brandon. See how yeah, I, I, I just he keeps his hair. hair short. <laughs> so, okay. so the last thing we got, I'm really super excited about. Um, I've just been looking for something, I don't know, to decorate our camper, but more like find something special to decorate, special to us. So um, I saw someone on Facebook who made custom dream catchers and I asked her to make me one. And um, her store's name is called Paradise Charm, Charms, Paradise Charms. And she's in Westerville, Ohio, not too far from us. And um, I worked with her, I told her our story and what we were doing and, and she, uh, her name is Tracy and she worked with us um, to make a really cool dream catcher. So I got, I'm gonna show it to you. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So it's humongous. This is the top part of it. And you know, turtles are kind of our thing. And so there's actually uh, six turtles on the outside because there's six of us in our family. These little, or seeds. Oh yeah, these beads are turtles. turtles. Yeah, and um, she put our birthstones on here. So everyone in our family has their birthstone. And, um, you know, she did really earthy type stuff because, I mean, that's I don't, that's our thing. I don't know. We like being outside. We like playing. I'm sorry. I'm covering your face. All right. Apparently, we lost the video. We're good now. Yeah. So, anyway, she made it with really earthy colors and because um, that's our thing. We like being outside. We like playing and hiking and... I mean, that's the goal, right? That's, that's why we're doing this. We have, I always tell people our, our goal is not to live in the camper. We yeah. want to sleep in the camper, but we, yeah. we're hoping to be outside and stay at warmer places. Yeah, so really experience, know. really experience everything that we can. But yeah, anyway, so it is super tall. It's like, I don't know, what did she say, 51 inches long? And I don't know, it's super pretty. I love it. Has uh, feathers on and has some bells on that will tinkle when we go outside. Anyways, I really, really love it. I'll take a picture of it when we get it set up. We're gonna put it on our door, um, on our camper. She made it with some outdoor materials too so that it, if it happened to get caught in the rain, it wouldn't be a huge deal. So anyways, super excited about that. I can link to her, her Facebook page for, for you in our comments. Anything else? Oh, do we have other stuff? No, nope, no more stuff to show. So we did get a new camera. I don't know if this video is going to be a little bit clearer than our past videos, but we had to get a new camera. So yeah, we all have to get a drone sometime. So I, I got my drone license. Uh, it was actually pretty easy for me to get since I am a pilot already. So all I had to do is some online training and then go down to the FAA and have them fill out some paperwork. And that was pretty much it. But Connor, our oldest really is been bugging me to get a drone. I thought I could also use it, I mean, obviously for these videos, but also when we put on races, I thought we could do some uh, drone footage of the runners and stuff like that. Connor's pretty passionate about it. He's done his research and yeah. he knows what he wants and his, he, 
he thinks he has to get a summer job so he can help pay for it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's about all we're doing. So we have our gear, we got some fun stuff, and, and we're ready to push off. We've been making a lot of reservations, um, spending at least for, you know, right when we get out of our house. We made a few reservations, um, made some plans for yeah. the next couple months. So my, my deal is I really don't want to make a long-term plan just because, well, we, we don't, we want to be able to have the freedom to go and where we want to go. Like, I, I understand like a month in advance or, you know, hey, here's our next spot we want to go to, let's see if we make reservations. Um, Kelly likes doing more of the planning, but we understand that it's not always possible. Right. I, I, I'm trying to be a little bit more free-spirited and, and not have plans so much, but uh, for the first couple months, we're still going to be taking the kids to school, and from wherever we're at, throughout the course of the day, we're going to have to make five trips to and from schools to pick up people. And so, I'm just trying to make sure we stay, you know, pretty close to the school, so we're not making a hour round trip drive five times a day. Yeah, and well, I still have to work. I, I'm a contract till February 1st, 2019, so I'll still be working until then. Uh, but my schedule is pretty nice. Like we have basically four hard days each month that we can take off. So I took my four hard days from each month and put them together. So basically, eight, 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 at least eight days off. So we're hoping to do some trips during that time, um, especially during the summer. Yeah. And then I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna continue to work or not after February 1st. The company that I work for right now is really good to me, and I really like the job. So maybe I'll work a month on, month off, or something like that. Uh, we'll wait and see. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for following us and keeping up with our journey. Um, if you have any suggestions for us, the things that we have to have, maybe things we missed out on, please leave a comment below. Um, if you've liked our video and you want to see more of what we're up to, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. That really helps keep you updated and get us out there. So yeah. keep us to make videos people are watching them, right? So, yeah. Uh, I think part of the reason we're doing it though is just so we can have some of the history. Yeah. Hopefully it's fun. So. Yeah, and interesting to you, maybe. Austin, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's it. Alright, see you later. Bye.